Arun did not kiss Jessica yesterday. Might have done something else, but not kiss. <laughs> okay. Hey, do you want to sound compelling when you actually talk to people and give presentations? Sometimes do you feel that you have a lot of knowledge but people don't pay that level of respect and attention and you feel ignored because of not having a powerful voice? If yes, then watch this video till the end because in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to have a powerful voice. Hi, my name is Vishal Sarkar and for the last 14 years I've been a real world practical keynote speaker and a public speaking mentor and advisor for top level leaders. You know, CEOs, vice presidents, project managers, senior managers, operations managers, I've trained them all. I've spoken at companies like Microsoft and IBM and Google and Apple and Infosys and many more. And I've been featured in Times of India and Conscious Millionaire and Deccan Herald and Rock and Roll Keys to business success. And, and one thing that I've seen is a lot of times people don't get the influence and the authority in their speaking is because they don't know how to speak with power. So because of that, they they don't have the clarity and the conviction in the speaking look it's not that you don't know what to say it's also not that you don't have confidence your confidence is there you know what to say you have good confidence but the problem is sometimes you speak too fast or people don't understand exactly what you're talking about because you're not able to make a powerful impact okay so if you want to solve that i want to give you three quick tips right now that can instantly help you the first tip that i want to give you is slow down and pause I'll give you an example let's say I'm gonna say this line public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection I'm gonna say it in two ways you tell me which one sounds better first the fast way and second the controlled way okay public speaking is so the line is this as you can see on the screen public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection this is the line clear so the first way to say in the fast ways public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection right second way public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection which one sounds better which one sounds more soothing and powerful and compelling the second one why I'm slowing down and giving pause at the right time that also does not mean that I speak like this all the time as you can see in your black and white TV right now some people speak like this guys the next point of my presentation and at that time the audience member is don't do that i'm not asking you to slow down all the time i'm asking you to slow down and pause in between your fast speaking does that make sense to you okay the second tip is for you to understand intonation or rather i should say right now emphasis emphasis on the right words at the right time if you do not know how to emphasize on the right words at the right time then every word that you're talking about is getting a hint it's getting a hit nothing is getting separated as this is the important part can i give you an interesting example you will love it ready let's say, let's say i'm going to give you an example let's say this line um arun did not or didn't kiss jessica yesterday now I know you're thinking probably I should be Arun you're thinking you should be Arun okay if you're Arun for example so let's say somebody is coming to me and say hey, did Arun kiss Jessica yesterday and I say let's say the first I'm emphasizing or emphasizing on the word Arun Arun did not kiss Jessica yesterday what does it mean somebody else but Arun did not kiss Jessica yesterday. Let's say somebody says, uh, Vishal, do you think Arun kissed Jessica yesterday? And I say, Arun did not kiss Jessica yesterday. I'm putting the emphasis on the word did not. First of all, Arun then did not. Arun did not kiss Jessica yesterday. Meaning, no. Did you do it? I did not do it. Just, Arun did not kiss Jessica yesterday. I did not come late. Right? On the word. Now the word kiss. Arun did not kiss Jessica yesterday. Might have done something else, but not kiss. <laughs> okay. Arun did not kiss Jessica yesterday. Maybe something else. Maybe went out for a walk. And uh, anyways, so I'll let your imagination run wild. Arun did not kiss Jessica yesterday. Fourth one, Jessica. Did 
Vishal, do you think Arun kissed Jessica yesterday? Arun did not kiss Jessica yesterday. Somebody else, but not Jessica. Got it? See, I'm emphasizing on the right word. The final one, yesterday. Arun did not kiss Jessica yesterday. Because it happens every day. <laughs> okay? Or it happens some other day. So you see, that same simple sentence, I'm saying it so many different ways. Because Arun did not kiss Jessica. But what if I say like this? Arun did not kiss Jessica yesterday. Then no emphasis. Or Arun did not kiss Jessica yesterday. Too much emphasis, nothing is standing out. But if I say Arun did not. Or Arun did not kiss Jessica yesterday. So whatever word you want to emphasize, pause. For example, if this is the word, pause beforehand, pause afterward and make sure this is on a louder voice. Arun did not kiss Jessica yesterday. Say pause, up, turn. This is an emphasis tool. Hope it helps you. So first tip is done, second tip is also done, second tip I, you liked very much. Now third boarding tip is eliminate filler words, filler words, um, uh, you know, um, uh, basically uh, these are the things, you know, basically, you know, uh, um, or, um, well, these are the filler words that many people you people use because they are not getting the right words. You have to eliminate filler words. Don't worry. We have an entire section inside our program where we teach you how to do that. In fact, check out this testimonial video real quick. Hey everyone, this is Anindita and I would like to share a few things with you today. So before this program, I used to struggle with lack of confidence while speaking. But after joining this program, I have increased my confidence level by five times imagine also before joining this program i used to struggle with spontaneous speaking but after joining this program my spontaneous speaking with the help of various frameworks has improved tremendously so i would like to share with every one of you do not think before joining this program just go ahead and enroll now look this sounds all good for this individual, but I know your situation is different, you know. Everybody's situation is different and that's the reason what I want to give you right now is I want to give you an opportunity for you to call us and talk to us. You can right now give us a call on this number so you can call us and talk to us and we can understand Hello. exactly what your challenges are when it comes to your voice, when it comes to your you know, body language, when it comes to your words, when it comes to your content, when it comes to your confidence, when it comes to your high or maybe something else, we can talk about it. You can tell us exactly what you're looking for. And if we have the right program for you, we'll tell you exactly how to enroll and or what is the next step because we don't take everybody because our program is very, very practical. Our program is a very, very practical program. You get experiential fine tuning. It's an implementation based program because it's a systematic program with synergy. We give you the most usable techniques, usable frameworks, usable methods, usable tactics about your public speaking skills, step-by-step -step coaching, step-by-step -step guidance and hand-holding. We give you hands-on experience, feedback, correction. I am there to correct your mistakes and give you actionable strategies and tactics so that you receive the practical transformation now. So if you want to be a part of this practical program, give us a call on this number and we'll be happy to talk to you. Again, call this number right now so we can completely transform you because practical public speaking has to be practical it cannot be you know all these people who are selling you these recorded courses with 15,000 people in their Facebook group bullshit you need practical hand-holding pinpointing and coaching to for you to take yourself to the next level and elevate that's if that's what you want give us a call Vishal Sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection Hi, I'm Dr. Shiv Kumar and the biggest learning for today for me is like uh, the four quadrants of voice modulation like which Vishal explained very clearly and he's a man with uh, who gives very practical solutions for your problems like and about your facial expressions during your presentation, your body language and all those kind of stuff and uh, I feel really pumped up for today's session and uh, I recommend all of you to be part of this mastermind group because he's a person who really builds confidence in each one of you and I am a, a real-time example for it like 
when you attend a session, like everything is gone and you, you are totally pumped up to face the future. And I recommend all of you to be part of this mastermind group and get benefited, become a confident person, confident speaker and have a purposeful life. Thank you. I would like to say that I am recommending this, that at least once they should hear Vishal Sarkar's uh, talk or attend conference once in a life, at least.